so Governor Nome, since our last SHOT Show in 2020, mm -hmm. a lot has happened. Um, a lot in the industry and a lot throughout the nation. Um, and everybody's aware of it. But one of the things that was interesting about South Dakota, um, you rejected the, the close it culture. Mm -hmm. What has that meant to South Dakota? Keeping your businesses open and emphasizing the importance of business to South Dakota. You know, we were talking about this the other day in January of 2020, before the virus, months before the virus ever got to South Dakota, my state of the state title was open for business. Uh, we had no idea what was ahead, but that was really what I wanted South Dakota's theme to be. And as we got into the pandemic and we saw different states take different actions than what I did in South Dakota, it really kind of became a situation where we became an example to the nation. You know, we, we never once closed a single business or told anybody they couldn't go to church or mandated anything such as masks. We, I just told my people that I was gonna trust them and let them use personal responsibility to make the best decisions for themselves. And we got through it together. Um, you know, I didn't have the authority to tell people that their business wasn't important enough to stay open. No governor did. And it just was a very different situation in our state than I think a lot of other states experienced. It, it was, uh, so we got through the pandemic very, very well. In fact, I think a lot of people in other states that wanted to get outdoors, wanted to try hunting and fishing, wanted to spend some time somewhere, maybe have a vacation where life seemed a little bit normal, they came to South Dakota. So we have the number one economy in the country right now. Uh, we are growing faster than we ever have in our entire 133 year history in our state. And it's allowing us to do some incredible things that I really do think make us the example to the nation. It's a great state. I've been up there mm -hmm. many times and, and many times recently. Uh, in fact, I was up there recently. Somebody told me South Dakota is growing at over 15 percent, something in that. Well, range. our revenue is triple what the average has been since we've been a state. So our typical growth every year is about 5 percent. This last year we had over 16 percent revenue growth, which is amazing. It's hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue that the state wasn't counting on. So, and remember in South Dakota, we don't have an income tax. We don't have a corporate or personal income tax, no, per, no personal property tax. What we have that largely funds state government is a four and a half cent sales tax, and that's it. So uh, we're a very thrifty state. Uh, we do what government should do, but don't try to do things that people should try to do for themselves. And uh, to have that kind of revenue has allowed us to put more money into reserves than we ever have before, pay off bonds for our universities and technical schools. We are building railroads, fixing dams, uh, putting high-speed internet access in everybody's home. You know, we're really setting South Dakota up for success for the next 50 to 60 years. That's well, really remarkable. Yeah, it is. So South, da South Dakota is fifth in the nation in firearms mm -hmm. jobs per capita. It's $300 million a year in excess to the state's economy. Um, how important is the firearms industry in South Dakota? Oh, it's incredibly important. I mean, for us, our Second Amendment rights are probably one of the most fundamental rights that we embrace with our whole being. So we have a lot of firearms manufacturers and businesses in our state, ammunition manufacturers as well. But, but the, the majority of the population, the vast majority of the people that live in South Dakota hunt and fish and exercise their Second Amendment rights on a daily basis. So in fact, this year, because of the revenue that we have, I'm eliminating all costs to getting your permits. Uh, if you need to run a federal background check to get a pistol permit, uh, we're going to pay for that for you. The very first bill I signed three years ago as governor was constitutional carry. I'm aware of that. It's on uh, my list of things to talk it about. Is. It is. So we, in fact, that was such a big deal for South Dakota because previous governors had vetoed it. Uh, that making that my first bill and then having a big ceremony in the rotunda really set really the priority for my administration. So eliminating all permitting fees, uh, eliminating the cost to the citizens on the federal background check. We want everybody in the world to know that when you come to South Dakota, it's not going to cost you anything to exercise your Second Amendment rights. Well, you really have been a leadership governor and then people outside of South Dakota certainly have noticed it, you know, in all the states that we work in. Um, so. You know, there's your capacity as governor of the state, there's your state's economy. Mm -hmm. What does hunting, fishing, and shooting sports mean though to Christy Nome? Oh, well, it's all of my good memories growing up were hunting and fishing with my family. My grandmother was the one who took me bird hunting all the time. She was a famous duck hunter in our area. So um, she loved duck hunting. In fact, her and, 
and her uh, cousin would get into a camper and travel all fall just chasing the ducks. Uh, and then she would take us pheasant hunting. My dad is the one who taught me big, big game hunting. So our family vacations were loading the horses up in the trailer and heading to the mountains for two weeks, packing in and hunting elk. So, you know, for me, it's so many, I grew up enjoying it, remembering all the memories you can make hunting, uh, remembering the talks we had while we were doing it, the appreciation for the wildlife. It's a really, really special time. And that's how my husband and I have raised our kids as well. Well, Governor, we sincerely appreciate you visiting us here at SHOT Show. Yeah. Uh, appreciate your leadership and the things that you do and look forward to uh, where that takes South South Dakota and, and, and following the great things that you're doing from here on out. Oh, thank you so much. Governor Nome, thank you very here. much. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.